Hi, I'm Jay and welcome to this week's episode of Hot Rod Hangout where we're over at Rod's Hot Rods to take a look at what's new on Faithful Avenue and... It's been a busy week. Oh, we got a lot of cool holy stuff holy. <laughs> to show you this week. It's awesome. Of course, we're standing in front of the Warhawk. We featured this in the last yep. week's video. Owen Gene Carp built this. It's an incredible machine. Sorry, Owen, I'll, I'll get the... Yeah, well, I'll, we'll I'll get sure. the Windex out. Th the paint is amazing. Yep. And this is like an all-season roadster. Like, top comes up, there's air conditioning. Windows roll up. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's pretty sweet. There's some incredible stuff to see today. It's mind-blowing. We got, like, what, nine vehicles? Nine new ones in the shop and uh, seven on their way. Yeah. Man, and it's only man. Wednesday. And it's Wednesday. So who knows? We got that second half of the building, and it's, uh, it's looking pretty full. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, without further ado, let's get the tour kicked off here. We're gonna go to the back showroom and we're gonna start off with something right away as we walk through yeah, the doors. Yeah, this is juicy. Juicy, juicy. Yeah, this is awesome. Look at this. Wah, wah, wah. yeah. 55? 55. This is ironic because after the video tonight, we have the 567 local Saskatoon chapter of the car club coming <laughs> to a first shop tour. That's right. So. We'll, we'll get into the juicy details, but I mean, man, this is, this is cool. This is a, this is a custom and you can tell right away. Well, I mean, you look at how it's sitting yes. and wheels are tucked in nice, but let me open this. Look at that. Yeah, it's total custom. Oh, it's cool. It is so cool. You have the interior light. This is the like piece de resistance. Look at that big piece of chrome. It's backlit in the middle. Super sort of 50s style. Air conditioning, of course, power windows, all the stuff you'd uh, kind of expect. Yep. Very nice, very high-end build. It's all tri-coat paint, the orange and the white. Yep. Two-tone. It's just really classy looking. It's, it's, it's orange and white, just like the one we had sitting here last week, I believe it was That's there. right, yeah, exactly. But it's totally different at the same time. Wow. That's... Like this one has all the chrome still on it. Right? That's like, right. The last one had some of it, but some of it was stripped off. Bumperettes. This has got bumperettes. All the badging, the yeah. bird on the front. The little jewel in there, tail light. Yeah, everything is on here. And, <laughs> I mean, yeah, everything's up here, but look what's under here. Yes. This is a six liter LS. Uh, this is out of a, a GTO. Whoa. So it's not your just your truck block. This is a, a GTO uh, powertrain. It's been dropped in here. That's awesome. Yeah, Custom some, hinges and everything. It's yeah. just, on the outside though, all the chromes, are, it's just how it's supposed to be. Totally. The yeah. color is, in the, in the pictures online, it looks almost red and white, but it's not. It's orange and white. And it, it's very orange when you see it in person. It, it totally is. It totally is very orange, yeah. And it's got kind of a bit of a, you can sort of see there's it here. There's some pearl in it. And yeah, there's some pearl. See how it kind of gets light in there? I bet you in the sun, like outside, truly outside, this thing looks just unbelievable. That's all, i got the 3M on the whole front here too. Oh, really? That's yeah. all 3M? You can kind of feel it. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah like whole fenders. Holy smoke. Yeah, that's Very a cool, cool. Piece, yeah. That is a cool car. That five, one won't six, last long. No, 567 Club is going to be pretty excited to see that. Yeah. Okay. And we just got it in like yesterday, so no one's actually really even seen it. So <laughs> there's some totally exciting stuff to see. Let's go with this. Uh, uh, yeah, so back there. You want to go back there? You lead the way. Yeah, let's go back here. Okay, because these are kind of cool. These, these are kind of well. Not that these other ones aren't cool. It's just okay. So we're getting ready for spring, and we like to have a couple newer pieces for spring coming up. So we've got three newer ones today. This is one. This is a different one too. This is a 2008. What it is? It's a GT California Special. Okay, now I see, you can see the right. There's, so we see GT, we see California Special in the lettering top and bottom there, okay. But you also see this. But you see this, and you're like, mm, what? Hmm? So what's happened here, this California Special GT has been outfitted with a complete GT500 donor car. So the complete suspension, the brakes, the wheels, engine, tranny, even the, the, the dash plaque, everything is GT500. Now beyond that, they didn't just stop there, putting all the GT500 stuff. Then it went to a performance shop in Edmonton and they took it a step further. <laughs> so this is a fully built um, Kenny Bell, everything. It's, it's, it's not Whoa. in a factory. 
Look at that. Holy. Yeah, this is a this is a wild machine. I hear that you actually got scared recently. Okay. This is a true story. When this car came in, they were unloading it. I was in the front talking to a customer with the door closed in the front, and this is the car they were just getting it off the trailer, and they fired it up. I jumped. I, it scared me when I was at the front of the shop. <laughs> so Wayne's here. He just left. He's like, you have to start this car. Okay, let's, okay. let's do it, and then let's we'll move on to the next. Quick. But so it's it's a let's get this straight it's a gt california special with a whole bunch of shelby stuff it's basically a gt 500 shelby with extra scofast stuff with a gt california special body okay i i think i get that but so this is mostly gt 500. a pretty amazing car is the bottom line oh someone smaller was in here before it's just a reminder oh, of power oh look at that yeah okay and it's got the right amount of pedals by the way let's point that out yep Okay, I'm, I'm bare preparing myself. Here we go. <laughs> like ridiculous. <laughs> now, I don't know how well that's going to come through in the video. The sound, that might just overwhelm the little microphones we're using, but oh, it, it sounds unbelievable. And <laughs> See, I'm, with my uh, daily half ton, that uh, Silverado, yep. I got the side window tinted. So I got my second ticket just the other day. So can you imagine this on the road? <laughs> yeah, I don't is, know. It'd be a is, ticket waiting to happen. Yes, I think this is a ticket waiting to happen, yeah. but it's still pretty cool. Pretty fun, yeah. Okay, this is still pretty cool too. Just rolled in, yeah, 2011. This is called a 2SS. What that means um, is the 2SS is the top of the line. So right. it'll have all the, like the most options um, available. It starts out with the RS, which I is your V6. Yep. Right, and then your SS is your entry level and your 2SS is your top of the line. Cool. So we'll give it a clean up polish and... Yeah, it's in nice, it's in really nice shape. It's gonna get, it looks pretty good in the video. It's gonna get a good polish and that's gonna really bring it to yep. life. A good cleanup and... It's only got about uh, 105K I think on it, so it's got a decent K. Nice. And uh, and it's odd, it doesn't have stripes on it. Yeah, it's, it's just a black, a solid black yeah. car. I don't mind it with no stripes. It's no, that's kind of cool. That's so. not, that's less shouty that way actually. Unlike the shouty Shelby. Shouty Shelby. <laughs> and there's those stripes on, well, there's stripes on the side. That's factory California special. Yes, the ones that fade off. But look how big the, like those, <laughs> like those drag radials, like it kind of gives it away. With, yeah. yeah. Uh, we need to get the paperwork on the, on the build of the horsepower on this car, because it's going to be awesome. out there. Are right, we going to do factory or we're going to do custom? Let's do custom first. Custom first. 1950 Oldsmobile. Now, people see the headlights. Yeah, they go, what? Huh? Mini Cooper, this is the same builder as that tin woody we had here last year. Yeah, if you remember, it was red. Same color. With the painted woody sides. Yep. So same builder, so he did the same idea, just that he did it with an Olds this time, which is pretty awesome. This is pretty cool. What? <laughs> Look under here. Like Holy. This. Yeah, this is just neat and tidy, LT1 air conditioning and it doesn't come out so well in the video but the stripes and the or sorry the flames are beautiful it's a red on red flame which is it is with just a little like a bit of a brighter red a little orange in there Tootal it's was just here on monday and he looked at this he thought that looked pretty cool with the red on red. i think he liked it, it. it's kind of subtle like you know it's got a subtlety to it look at the interior it's got a full flow through console it goes right up to the back window that's so cool. Yeah. I'll overhead here, let's see if I can get the camera to go up there. Console built in, totally customized. Again, there's an air conditioner in this yep. thing. You know, you're gonna just cruise on down the highway. Okay, two things with this car. One, this car had air ride on it and the previous owner took the air ride off. I don't like the stance, so I'm gonna fix it. Of course, I like everything low, so we're gonna lower it down. <laughs> yep. And the other thing we didn't talk about is the post. So, mm. With this post, uh, just like the 55 we just showed, yep. this is super popular right now. And where the hard tops were for years and still are beautiful, yes. don't get me wrong. But this is, that's the new cool now. It's all the stuff nobody wanted for a while yep. is now the stuff people want. It's like a vinyl top's cool. Right. And the post is cool. Some just trends change. They do. They so do. Right now the post, that's where it's at. They kind of come and go. and. 
You know, that's, you know, it may be half due to popularity. And what I mean is, if you can find, you can't find a hard top anymore because they're gone. They've all been used for hot rods, they're all gone. But you can find a post car because people didn't want them as much. So maybe have something to do with it. Yeah, for these ones, I think the, 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 in the 55, I think the, the, the post makes it look a little more tough. Yep, a little more. more it does. It, de it def definitely gives it a kind of a beefier look. The paint body on this oh, holes is really it's nice. It's just such a juicy red car. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice car. Oh, well, I notice we have no yeah. handle here. Uh, Wayne so, knows how to open it. Wayne knows how to open it. So if it becomes yours, you'll know how to open it too. We promise. Yeah, Wayne will that's, tell you. It's a that's secret. pretty amazing. I like it. Okay. Should we shave this one for the very last? Why don't we? Okay. Let's go, let's go over here because yep. we'll save the Holy Grail for the very end. And it, and it kind of is a Holy Grail. Okay, this, uh, I'm surprised this is still here. I've got, I've got guys almost fighting over this car right now. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah, we got multiple offers on it currently, so <laughs> it's not gonna last. That's not surprising, really. We're making our way over here. Of course, we've seen a lot of this stuff. Either you go which way and I'll just follow. Uh, all right, we're gonna go this way. We're okay. swiveling this way. Let's start with this. 1970 Camaro. Now this car started out, uh, came up from San Francisco and uh, new paint body, blue interior. I love the interior, you know that? So the, this console will kind of give it away because you can see there's one more digit in the console. Uh, the dash has got the Dakota digital, I believe. Oh yeah, okay, we got, okay, I see what you we mean. Got four yep. gears there, the digital dash. Yep. Um, which you, is plug you, and play. You wouldn't know without really looking though. It looks kind of, it looks stock. The car looks bone stock. It does. It's, the and it's body's good. really, really nice. Yeah, it is. And even these are, They're like buried. you can't yeah. feel them. They are in the paint. They're very nice. I, uh, I said to you earlier, I know you say we never had a Camaro with blue stripes, but wouldn't it be cool with a white car with a blue interior and blue stripes? I think it'd be kind of cool. It would be okay. So well, you know what? The but the, the the seventy Trans Am had a blue center stripe going up and blue interior. Right. See. Okay. So I'm not crazy. That's not a Chevy. That's a Pontiac. Huh. Ah. Okay. It's not an original car. Tomato. As soon, tomato. Exactly. As soon as you open the hood, you're gonna find out wow. it's not. Cause like boom, boom, boom. So a six liter LS. Yeah. Four L sixty. That's why there's the extra digit on the on the shifter. I think it's pretty cool that they painted it. To you know, be the old Chevy orange. orange, yeah, Chevy orange block. One more step, uh, you can get the the fake valve covers that go over top that make it look like the old, like a three twenty seven with a script on it. Mm, yep, yep. That'd be kind of cool to do. Um, nice car though. It's it's in really nice shape. Yep. The very very popular the, second gen. Oh yeah, yeah. It's I 70's like. Seventies the year really. Like I 70, like seventy one. Well, look, right here seventy one. Seventy one. Same. Same generation. Same same. Yeah. Which one, was one of them split though on the front? This one's split. That's the split. So you have to get the RS option for the split. Right. Well, that's so the most desirable is when you get the yes. split, the split grill or a bumper, I should say. That also changes. You have your, your marker lights in here. On oh, a, so on it does, split. right, instead of down So the whole, below. the whole front end is different on an RS car. Like this one is here. Right, right. Nice, nice Camaro. We're gonna go to another new one. Yeah. Newish, sorry, not new, but. Uh, we sold quite a few of these last year, and they're super popular. This is a 2010 SRT Challenger, 6.1 Hemi, and uh, this has got the right number of pedals, six speed. Sure does. It's only got roughly 30,000 kilometers. So it's, oh, that's it. Wow. So yeah. somebody obviously, this was their baby, they took nice care of it. This was a nice car. Yeah, it's the leather, the suede is really nice. You can tell, yeah, 35,000 35, clips. 35, sure, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that's like still, that's nothing, super right? Low. That's super low. These cars. That's a summer only car. Are unbelievable driving cars. Out of all the newer kind of sports cars, this is my favorite car to actually go for a drive and it's just comfortable. And you know, this was the first generation of them doing the this retro. car, the retro. Yep. And I think, in my opinion, that this was the best version of it. The way they did the tail lights with the reverse in the middle, just so, the. Because it was old school taillights and they're like old school taillights, so not what, LEDs. What year is that mimicked off of, off the old Challenger? It's time to ask Jay. 73, four. No. I don't know. Yeah, okay. 
Well, we'll go by and look. There's a 70 sitting right there. It's a 70. So, okay, so keep that in mind, right? When we walk by And again, we'll go back we'll to look. the purple one, yeah. okay. Yeah, this is an awesome car though. Here Sorry, you know your uh, your focuses and stuff, right? I, well, we come I'm, from a different generation. Kidding, I this know. is, I, I gotta learn too, right? Yeah, well. Here yeah. we go. Let's go with this. This is, okay, you this guys gotta is, pay attention to this. This is spectacular. Okay, this is a car, it's kind of a, I can't call it a project, it's almost done. A couple little things, you know, gotta do, like put the gauges back in and a couple things, but uh, this is a 67 SSRS. 396 Camaro. And what they call this is the pace setter. So back in 67, they made uh, a very select few pace cars. And they got so popular um, that this came out as a pace setter. It's kind of the version of the pace car without all the writing on the doors. Right. Very sought after car, very low production. They only come one way. Right. With the blue top, blue interior, blue, blue stripe. Blue stripe here. And in white. Right? That's how they come. That's it. With this blue top, which Apparently, is really cool. Apparently, that's what cool. I've learned so far. I love uh, the double red stripes. And yeah. you can see, we got some parts in here. It's not finished yet. Look at these hubcaps. Okay, this is... Uh, I something. know. They look like they're... you know like how rare these are? Cast or something, That's hey? the original magnesium. Magnesium. Hubcaps. Holy. So that's a super rare option. To even have those is incredible. It's got the hideaway doors, of course. Yeah, which is the RS. Which is the RS package. See if I can get the hood open. Some poke our heads in here. We got it, like I said, some dash work to do. It's got new flooring, it's got new seat covers already. Blue only. So you know you look Man, that's underneath cool. the bottom, the balance. That's where your that's where your backup light should be. Yep, yep square RS. That's only RS. RS only, okay. And this panel is just black. Yep. That's so cool. There you go, that's the 396. Oh, ho, ho. right on. So it's it's so close to getting done, but it's uh, it just came in today, so runs really, really well. Awesome. Uh, the air cleaners, or the air filters extra. <laughs> we'll just tack it on the bill. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I think the air cleaner lives in the in the trunk or in the back. It'll all get put together. It's, it's super cool yeah, the way it is, it but it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. Another one right next door. This is cool. This is so cool. It's way more than what it looks too. It is, because you think, okay, it's a panel van, what, whatever. Those who knew me from years ago, I, I had a 47. Um, it was purple, and it had the dragons. It won the best upholstery that year. It had all the oyster, no, ostrich, sorry, um, leather in it, and uh, it had the Hardy Davidson, like in the back panel. Yep, cool. People will probably remember that one, but anyway, same thing, it's 47 sedan delivery. Don't get this mixed up with a panel. Oh, the okay. The panel is, is on a half ton chassis. A panel is a half ton chassis. Or, this a, is or, a, or a three quarter ton or right. like one ton, but it's on okay. a truck chassis. This is a fleet line, this right? Is a, this is on a car. It's on a car chassis. So a sedan so delivery is a car. my bad, right? I'm saying panel is well, a sedan delivery. Well, everyone says panel because it looks like a panel, right? Right, it's a, but it's smaller. Exactly, Right. this, this is a car, not a, not a truck. So it's a, it's, a sta it's a workman's station wagon is what it is. Yeah, right? vacuum salesman or whatever. Vacuum, vacuum salesman, day. right? Yeah, traveling but, uh, salesman. The other ones are, they're taller, like they're like like in here. Yeah, the panel is actually bigger in here. Because this isn't it's chopped. Taller. No, right? this is this is stock. a this is a stock body. But a panel would have be taller. Right. right. So let's let's dive into this. This is okay. so cool. So it's, I mean, it's in satin black. Yep. Um, that's how we got it. We're gonna keep it satin black, but what we're gonna do? Oh, that looks great from back here. And all the chrome's brand new in the whole on the whole unit. Um, what we're planning on doing is Tutal's going to come. He's going to flame the whole thing from front to back. He's going to integrate some of the work that's already on and here. Do a pinstripe flame, and then we'll do our our name in here, right? Oh, cool. We're going to lower it down. Got to get it sitting right. You know me and the stance. Yeah. This is kind of cool too. Oh yeah, look at that. Gas little door, glass right? doors built in. Somebody's going to job of that. And it's got a a Corvette cradle on the front. Yep. Um, a brand new 5.3 LS, 4L60, air conditioning. The interior is completely done. Wow, it's so wild now in here. Look at the dash, that's the best part of the whole building. Look at this. A 59 Impala dash that's been sectioned like crazy. Dakota digital gauges. 
I'll have to go around the other side to see that. Yeah. But like, look at the red leather and it is beautifully done. It's just sensational. The seats are awesome. And then it's the whole back end. It's all done. The roof and all. It kind of, it kind of looks like a hearse inside. <laughs> so I think uh, some of the staff were talking and they were, they were voting to see if we would uh, make this our new shop truck. It's pretty awesome. The chrome is just beautiful. It's a good looking car. Let's see if we can have a peek at the dash from this side here. There again, it's got all the new gauges. Yep. That's really wild. Yeah, really it's... wicked. Now we would show you the the, uh, the engine, bay. engine, but <laughs> we, we got to figure broke it. I did not break nothing. We can't figure out how to get it open just yet. No, we. Sorry, well, you. I think I think what's what's happened. Something's let go on the yeah. So because the guys had it open when when he first got it, it's like the motor. Everything's so new. It still has a tag on it. It's that new. <laughs> oh man. So split windshield. Oh, we get it sitting right. Oh, it's just so cool. cool. A visor would look good on there. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Add that to the list. Okay. Are we walking over to the last one here? Everything else around grill. here is like sort of sold and moving sometime soon. There's a few more down there that are. Yeah, those two trucks are leaving uh, next week. We've right. got confirmation. Okay, so we were going to look at the taillights, right? Because that, and then, well, this is what they're... Yeah, that's what they're... Replicating. Yes. Right? That makes sense. Yep. You get up to 73, then that's where they have the round taillights. Oh, okay, and... okay. I'm wrong. I just don't know it well enough. I don't know. Can you say that again? I don't know well enough. That's... No, this the is... part that you're wrong. Oh, I'm wrong. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm wrong. Okay. Here we go. This is the real deal. Um, that's the first question people ask when they walk in the door. Is, is it, real? it real? This is the real car. So I'll be posting all the documentation online in the next couple of days for this car. There's documentation like crazy on this car. It's, uh, it's well known in the Pontiac uh, group of people. It came from Ontario. It's a documented one owner car. Okay, so. We are talking about this. The goat. The goat. And yes, it's real. It's a real judge. Not just a GTO. It's odd for, for it's this a color. real judge. This is called carousel red. And it's obviously it's not red. No, that's, that's, what that's they, red. This is orange. But it's carousel red. Okay. That's what they call they it. They were smoking something. So Pontiac called it that. Chevy called it Hugger Orange. It's both the same paint code. We should start like right here. This is repainted. Yep. But this is not a frame off restoration no, that way. Very low mile original car. Yeah. Like it's I mean, and they went to the, the the extent of getting, you know, the old polyglass. These are not radials even. They are the correct wheels, tires, paint, trim. This is awesome. Even better, it's got the right amount of pedals, four speed on the floor. A bench, but it's a split bench with an armrest that comes out of there. The other thing is uh, with that uh, shifter handle, there's supposed to be a T, uh, like a, one of those Hearst T handles. Yep. And it's on the glove box. We just got to put it, put it on. Okay. That's, so that's a rare piece. It's, and it's here. And it's here. And it's here. It's yeah. going to come back on. Look at how well that closes. Man, oh man. Down to the last detail. Like, I mean the last detail. Now, interesting, doesn't have hideaway headlights. No, that's, everyone thought that was a, like a, they, they always had them. If you look at, remember our, our project across the street, that rag top, that's got the hideaway lights. And the funny thing is, it's orange. Yeah. Too. Isn't that no, hilarious? It's red, carousel red. I'm sorry. It's carousel red, <laughs> too. Red. Yeah, but it's, but it's the same color. Yes, same and they, year, same, same year, everything. Just, you know, yeah. But, but it's look, not a judge. This it's is not a judge. judge, yeah. It's Ram Air, like one. Ram Air 3. Look at that. I mean, like every look, the block's obviously been painted, but they even have the right stamp for the OK8 or OK6 on there, you know? Like, wow. Just very well done. Very well done. Like, just back to perfect. This is back to exactly the way it pretty much would have rolled out of the showroom. That's the thing about it. But I encourage people to. Check the website in a day or two when we have all the documentation, uh, you know, photographed and put online because it's like the original bill of sale. The like even right down to the 
the most current registration showing the same owner as that bought it brand new. I gotta, I gotta show you this too. I'm not sure if this is a thing. Send us in the comments, by the way, this has got full package, so full gauges. Uh, we've got a attack, real gauges over there, 48,000 miles. And it says, here comes the judge. Was that, a, was that part of the dashboard originally? Or is that something somebody put on there? So if you're a judge expert, GTO expert, they gotta let us know. Yeah, uh, I can't comments. answer that question. There's a cool, I just noticed that kind of peeking in there. Because real judges don't grow on trees, right? So well, that's just the thing. I haven't seen too many. Exactly. And typically, the thing with these judges, the people that have them, they don't sell them. Yeah. It's one of the hardest muscle cars to actually get. No kidding. Because they don't come up that often. Okay, what do we got coming up? Because there's a lot of cool stuff. Okay, I'll, I'll try and go quick. I, I just made a deal tonight. We're getting our Fiero back. No Remember way. Remember the thousand mile original Fiero? Oh, I love it. Yes, so that's coming back. We got a really cool 03 anniversary Corvette with only 7,000 miles on it. Like 7, wear your slippers 000. to get in kind of thing. <laughs> like it's crazy nice. Um, our 69 rag, the yellow one's coming. Uh, it's loading tomorrow. In Ontario, same with the 72 C10 Pro Touring short box being loaded tomorrow. Um, I'm not going to talk about this one too, too much. much. Um, I'll, I'll wait till next week. But we have um, we have a K5 Blazer coming. I'll just leave it there. I'm not going to say nothing more about it. Yeah, there's going to be a lot to see with that one. Um, well, after watching Bear Jackson, that's kind of like a mic drop. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's Kinda. right. Um, we got a 56 Ford panel coming. That's a pretty cool one too. Mm -hmm. Not a panel. Okay, I just screwed up. Myself. See? Oh, oh look, look. Yeah, what did I'm you say? Wrong. You're I'm wrong. wrong. I'm wrong. <laughs> it's a 56 courier sedan delivery. Okay. That's what it is. Ah, uh -huh. And finally, we finally, my wife's brand new Camaro finally came in. Um, I made them actually send me a picture of it to prove it was in. <laughs> so we're gonna go up Monday, this coming Monday, to uh, collect her new car. Yeah, it's and awesome. It might be in the showroom for the winter. Probably won't have a sign for sale on it, but congratulations, Dallas! That's yes. going to be a fun summer car. She's waited a long time for that one. So. If there's something that uh, you got to make your own, including this, uh, go to RodsHotRods.ca. Find all the pictures, pricing, everything you want to know is there. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time on Hot Rod Hangout.